Hey, what's up, guys? I'm playing around with one of these uh, Mac 7219 four unit uh, displays again. Just trying to create a little message board for some fun. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm starting simple, keeping it easy. You know, this is something that you can set up in a few minutes and, and just, you know, have some message fun. As you can see, there's really nothing to it but uh, an Uno the uh, display and uh, five wires which are really easy to connect the five wires we have are VCC ground data in also known as mossy chip select and clock and in my case VCC is black ground is brown mossy is red chip select is orange clock is yellow and VCC is going to 5 volts ground is going to ground uh, mossy is going to 11 chip select is going to 10 and clock is going to 13 and you can see those connections right here very easily and if you look at, at the back side of this board and let me zoom in here and then focus you can easily see the pins are labeled Make sure your wires are on there good. If you have any sort of uh, of movement there, trust me, this is going to want to give you all sorts of fits. Another thing, the MD Pro library, you need to know the way that this display is wired. There's there is um, instructions on the MD Parola. Uh, GitHub for how to set this for the different ways these are wired and it's basically just a, a matter of going into the MD Parola um, I think it's the dot H file and At the beginning you'll say, you know wired this way set this to one if it's wired this way set this to one It's it's really easy and I'll put a link to that in the description below Let's go take a look at the code, which is also incredibly easy All right, let's take a quick look at the code here. We're gonna start off with three libraries. We need the MD Parola library, which controls most of the scrolling functions here. We also need the MD Max 72XX library, which handles the uh, Max 7219 chip. And we need SPI because that's the communications method we're using. Now, we're not using, <clears throat> any of this user-defined control stuff in this sketch we might use it later on we also have a define debug in this case equal to zero if you want to see the debug info on your serial port if you're having any trouble just set it to one and then this prints out the debug information here now we're going to set up our um, display we're going to define in this case max devices four. I believe it can display up to eight. It might be sixteen. Can't quite remember. Our clock pin is thirteen. Our data pin is eleven, and our chip select pin is number ten. That's with an Arduino Uno. If you're using a different Arduino, you might have to change some things. Now we're on to our scrolling parameters. In this case, our scroll speed is set for twenty-five, and that is our frame delay. Now, from the MD Pro library text effect, scroll effect equals PA scroll left, which simply means we're scrolling from the left. Then we have text position T, scroll align equals PA left. That means we're aligning it to the left. And finally, our scroll pause is 2,000 milliseconds or two seconds. We're going to define our maximum buffer size as 75. So that's the maximum characters that we can display here. Character variable called current message will be set as buffer size. New message as buffer size. And a Boolean variable, this will be a flag. New message available, set it for false. Next, we have a routine here called read serial. And this is just going to uh, see if there's any data coming in from our serial port. We're going to use a static character array called CP, and we'll set it for new message. 
So right here, while serial is available, that means if there's information coming from the serial port, then our character array will be the character that comes through the serial port. Pretty simple, right? And then we say, if that variable is equal to, and remember, use two equal signs in a row, otherwise you're just setting a value. If you want to compare it, you need two equal signs to new line. Then CP equal our CP minus our new message is equal to or greater than our buffer size minus two. Just checks to see if the message ends or the buffer is full. And if it is, then our array equals a new line. We end the string. We restart a new message, and we say a new message is available. Otherwise, we move the pointer to the next position, and that happens every time we get a character from the serial port unless the, again that character is a zero in which case we end the message now for setup we're going to start our serial at 57600 because that's just what Marco did in the sketch I mean you can do it at whatever you want it really doesn't matter you get a nice little prompt and then we're going to use our uh, MD Pro library to set up these um, parameters begin you know we're going to start we're going to clear the display and we're not going to suspend the display then we're going to set up our message display text how are we going to display the text we're going to display the current message using scroll align scroll speed scroll pause scroll effect and scroll effect so those are the things that we we're setting up uh, string copy our current message hello enter new message that just prompts the user on the display to enter a new message up here we're doing it on the serial port so when this thing begins it's going to print this out now in our loop we are it's, it's really simple we read serial which comes up here and does that routine And then we say, you know, if display animate, then if new message is available, string copy our current message to new message. If no new message is available, set false and reset the display. Pretty easy. We can expand on this later, but I think for now, this is good enough. Let's go check it out. All right, so I've uploaded the code, and you can see we're getting that hello, enter a new message prompt. I'm just going to put a piece of paper on top there to make it easier for you guys to see it the, the red is very bright to my eyes but the camera just seems to have a little difficulty picking it up let me, uh, let me turn out maybe a couple of these lights here ah that makes it easier for you to see and now we can enter a new message and see what we get that's you guys. Sorry, can't type and uh, talk at the same time, apparently. But that's how simple it is to put together a scrolling message. If there's interest. If there is, let me know down below. Anyway, guys, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and share. That's it. I'm out. Peace.